Well, I love when people tell me I'm going to burn out. And I always just very, very sincerely tell them that I apologize for not taking advice on burning out from someone who's never been on fire. You know, I'm the kind of person that I want to be all in in all areas. I don't just attempt things. I don't just go after things. Like when I go all in, I go completely all in. And so I've got my entire life now on checklists and things that I have to do, things that have to get done every day, things that have to get done every hour, things that have to get done every week. A burnout is inevitable when you're operating at like an insanely high level and at an insanely fast pace. Um, I think the key to mitigating burnout, because again, you know, if you're operating at that level, like it's just something to expect, but the way to mitigate it is just in all the activities that you do where you are uh, being intentional with your time, whether that's time blocking, you know, goal setting, daily, weekly goals, you have to put in structure in place to rest. And I pretty much almost every day will schedule a 20 to 45 minute nap. And it's a game changer. And uh, some people may think that, nah, it's funny, like this guy takes naps, but um, you know, Gary Vaynerchuk, always talks about the fact, uh, and that's what V said, that it's not about how much sleep you're getting, it's about what you do when you're awake. You know, sleep is highly underrated. Um, like you have to sleep or you die. Um, and you certainly can't operate at the level that you could without rest. But I think for us to sit here and say, you know, here's how you don't burn out, that's, that's impossible. Um, now, certainly if you're operating at a mediocre level and not really going after anything extraordinary, you can probably skate by without ever burning out. But again, if you're operating at a high level, um, it's just something to expect. And it's something to not beat yourself up on when it happens, because it's a natural part of the cycle. Um, you know, a, a lot of this too um, can be mitigated by, like I said, structuring your time, but planning like vacations, planning time off, and having that already set in the calendar to where you're looking forward to that. And there's something about the mindset of knowing that you have a break coming that alleviates that burn, burned out feeling as you're heading towards it. Because you know like, hey, I've only got four more weeks. Hey, I've only got two more weeks. And when your family knows that and everybody's in communication, I think that helps a lot.